our navigation controls, we ask all passengers to switch off their mobile phones or switch them to vibrate, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> As we sail across the Milky Way. The yesterday will keep you completely safe, as long as you're seated in first class and there's no spontaneous combusticulation. Showing you the world of tomorrow. Today! There's to be no smoking on the ship, darlings. If anything were to go wrong, instead of seeing the rings of Saturn, we might get to see Uranus. No, Uranus is not worth visiting. Which I beg you. Welcome to yesterday. Yesterday. It's not the day before this one. That's just the name of the ship. We hope you enjoy your stay. stay. Seatbelts should be fastened and tray tables should be in the upright position. Don't exit the ship or you will surely die. die. The last thing we want is for anyone to be sucked off in space. (laughs) It's not a ship for the sea. But for the sky Please check beneath your seat for luggage, a life draft or children. You can never be too sure in these circumstances. <laughs> this is the end of the safety briefing. Now some of you do look a bit nervous still. So I'm going to send Alex on board with you. Ta-ta and kaki te darlings. Beaming aboard in three, two, one. The Nāpuri Mother on a Nāhi are now pointing out the exits for if and when we crash. <laughs> I'm in a voyage to a country proud, leaving the land of the long white cloud. Do not be alarmed, there is only an 
3% chance of failure aboard the yesterday. Terms and conditions may apply. Low 5 to accept the terms and conditions. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> accept the terms and conditions. That's how you do it. <laughs> it is now my pleasure to introduce the captain of the yesterday, Captain Ortegananahi. Captain Ortegananahi likes to be known as a top student from the space <laughs> camp of Aotearoa and always came first. <laughs> His favourite positions include Captain, Missionary. <laughs> oh, that's enough, Alex. I'm sorry, everyone. Those in flight safety videos are quite long and tedious. I'm huh? doing my best. Oh, I know, so you're doing great. <laughs> but I think it's about time we hit the metaphorical road and get off our zero. But before we do, roll call. First mate, Dennis Sylvian, ready to take charge. <laughs> Scientist James Keener, reporting for duty, sir. Charlie, best friend, and pilot. Doug Bennett speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Co-pilot Alpha D reporting for duty. Security Officer Jones Jones, not paid enough to be here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. I think we're about ready to launch. Yes, Captain. However, no, 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 sure. Time to launch. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Say what? Where are we going? Engaging the engines and checking where the Activating thrusters. Backing out of the hangar. And the bigger and greater. Launching the yesterday in three, two, one. Here I come, asteroids. Face well. Alex, 
Unmute. Yes, Mom. Oh, good. Looks like something weird is happening there. <laughs> Did that robot just call you Mom? I am not a robot. <laughs> I'm a non-binary thing that runs on a binary code. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking robot to me. <laughs> <laughs> they are not a robot. An entire group of scientists back at the Academy developed Android Life Emulation X. X. Ten versions and it's still fucked. <laughs> they are more <laughs> complex than you could possibly comprehend. I would know as their mom. All of my creators are known by the acronym Maker of Me or Mom. Does that mean they're also dads? What on earth would stats stand for? Doug and Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, eh? Doug, what the hell? The story in the logbook! Oh. You know, that reminds me. I got something to check out in my logbook. <laughs> Watch me move this wild book. I am not a woman. But you will be moved. <laughs> no. Can <laughs> 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 you? Well, look, he's become more confident. What does that say about me? My closest relationship is with an android. <laughs> Captain, you know. I really hate to do this, but is there a doctor on board the ship? 
If so, please make yourself known. Hmm. Oh! Oh, 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 come on! Everyone give a round of applause for our new doctor. <laughs>
things go to go smoothly. So I understand that, James, but I'm still nervous. It took me so many years to get off to this position. A well-earned position, sir. Right! And I can't let down a space plan ambassador or my country. I fully understand you, Captain. You see, my favorite... So far, it's been turbulence, a missing doctor, and an unconscious member of crew. Yes, looks like everything's going smoothly. Now that's not fair. I couldn't handle those problems, but I can handle my crew. Oh, no. Okay, this is enough, all right? We just need to keep the crew under control and everything will go calm. All right? Whatever you say. Okay. Would you please just stop that? But it helps me concentrate. Plus, I'm pretty sure the ladies love <laughs> I can assure you, they don't. Really? Come on, Max. You need to cheer up. Cheer up! I'm super fucking cheerful! This space cruise is something that I've dreamed of doing since I was a kid. I've trained for so long to be a pilot. Well, isn't it just great that you get to stand next to me, the pilot, and be my co-pilot? <laughs> Good talk. Now look at me. There's something I need to do. What would be more important than flying this ship? I'd just like to say thanks for flying with us. Done! You may be flying the ship! If I'd just like to say thanks <laughs> for flying with us. When did you find time to rehearse this? <laughs> I'd just like to say. <laughs> I'd just like to say. <laughs> I'd just like to say. Thanks for flying with us. Okay. You're not even flying the ship right now. <laughs> Alex, report to the bridge. I need you to take the wheel so that I can once again show Doug how something is supposed to be done. Or that pilot engage. <laughs> yes, I'd just like to say thanks. For flying with us. Alpha, what are you doing? Yes, I'd just like to say thanks for flying with us. This was supposed to be a solo. Yes, I'd just like to say, I'd just like to say, I'd just like to say thanks for flying. I'm handsome, but chopping and had a default. Always making love, there's no one I fought. Huh? You've read all the stories and heard all the tales, meeting the beauties that are space whales. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have left planet Earth, I can finally get what I've wanted since birth. I don't mean to offend you, but you fill me with hate. There is no way you know a better way to navigate. Five years I studied and six years I taught. I mentored your dumb ass and for you I fought. Now you're the pilot, which makes me quite mad. If I don't take charge soon, then all will go bad. Now that I have left planet Earth, I can finally get what I've wanted since birth. Thanks for flying. Thanks for flying. Thanks, Thanks for, for flying, flying with us. Okay. Thanks for flying. Thanks for flying. Thanks for flying with us. Thanks for flying.
because they don't believe in me. What? What are you saying? You know, the likelihood that aliens exist is actually pretty high. Well, that's nice, darling, but I've got something much more important to discuss with you. I wish I was upset because Dr. Meridium was supposed to be on your first voyage and she was really looking forward to it, weren't you, Dad? No, not at all. I never wanted to leave Earth. I'm just so glad you managed to find another doctor for the yesterday. Who was she anyway? Oh, hello, Janet. Uh, I'm nobody, just a passenger with a medical degree. That's all good. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Cheerio, James. Oh, watch out for that asteroid. Alert. 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 Incoming Alert. asteroid. Oh, shit. <laughs> Attention, everyone. This is your pilot, Doug Baker, speaking again. We appear to be heading towards an asteroid field. Doug! What the fuck? Everybody hold on tight! <laughs> I blame you for this goddamn! I wish I was still in first class! I expected to pay rides for this goddamn! This never would have happened if I was the pilot! I blame the pilot! This is about Jeffrey Fox Reaper! I am so James, check the engines. Alec, Alec, hey. Anyone? Anyone? Since I was a little boy, I dreamt of outer space. The stars that twinkled bright dazzled me with light. They held me like a toy It wasn't easy to find my feet The people told me seen from scene They said I couldn't leave Cause my pants I often peed But still I chased my dream If that boy saw me today I wonder what he'd say. You're on the greatest ship that's ever been. That's what he'd say to me. You're sailing through the stars, so the dancing beyond Mars to places no one's ever been. On the best adventure in history. See a walker flying through the sky Cast those shackles from your wrist Through the danger you'll persist Onwards to victory Yes, it's right! Oh, oh, I'm right, well <laughs> You'll be the greatest captain I've ever known And then these stripes I wear with pride I'll earn back their faith, I'll regain their loyalty And become the man that I Hope I am inside I'll be the one to fix the ship! Please lie on the 
stupidly small examination bed. <laughs> Three 
gods. Yes. Oh, you know that there were three gods just here, and then they fell out of the door into space. <laughs> right. That's fine. Um, I've known them since I was a child, but it's fine. I'm sure you've got other treasured childhood friends, right? <laughs> yeah.
be fine. Everything will be everything will be everything will be fine. The doctor's deluded. The pilot's a prick. Hey. The co-pilot <laughs> wants to ride Dennis's deck. <laughs>
I needed control over the console, so I took over the Android. I got my reason to commit treason, thanks to the asteroid. The captain's dead, so find me, be led. Come with me for some mutiny. Join Alpha and Alan and I. It is it's me. me. No, it's me. Everything <laughs> The ship's operating systems are now back online. Well, that's great. And there is an incoming call from the New Zealand Space Fan That's That's great. Positions, everyone. <laughs> Don't worry about him, Ambassador. He's just getting a better look at the space around us. The view is quite a knockout. <laughs> Attention, crew of the yesterday. You have a known fugitive aboard your ship, and I demand you hand him over immediately. Shit! I can explain. <laughs> Do not worry. The fugitive is getting back to the team. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? I can see Doctor Freya Rose right there. Wait. Allow me to explain. Doctor Rose. Remember on the Aurora when we crashed into the moon? What are you talking about? You caused that crash. We were low on oxygen and certain of our doom. Because of you, three members of my crew were critically injured. I never meant to hurt anyone. Hand yourself over to the Napa Himana. Get us! I command you to tell that deadness and dastardly doctor! Yes. Not the doctor. I loved her. As do I. Yes, I was fond of her as well. But she's a criminal and a fugitive. And what do we do with those, Alan? We throw them out the airlock. This airlock. The one off stage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, please, I've changed. She did it before she could do it again. She could put us in danger. I can't believe that she lied to us. Everything will be swell. Don't worry, Ambassador. Everything is taken care of down here. <laughs> if you know what I mean, that is. Good. Computer in transmission. The doctor has been thrown out the airlock. Which airlock? That one. Excellent. Now they're both gone. Through the airlock. Gone. Sorry, darlings, could you speak up? I couldn't hear any of that last sentence. What was it that you were going to try? Really good, Paul. Oh, shit. Uh, yes, uh, well. I just wanted to say good work, Dennis. <laughs> or can't I? You caught the criminal and you got rid of the Aurora captain before she could go to the Prime Minister. I suppose that makes you the new captain. Well done, Dan. Oh, don't worry, I won't let you down. No, if you excuse me, there's something else I need to take care of. Goodbye, Mother. Mother? Okay, well, I would have to be a little later. I'm about to have dinner with your fiancé. Fiancé? <laughs> Alright, ta down, Janice. Bye, Jack. I love you. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm the captain of the yesterday now. And if any of you have an issue with that, then you'll be going out the airlock. The same airlock? Oh, please don't put me in the airlock. That airlock, over there. Filled with H2O that doesn't flow? <laughs> <laughs> so, considering I helped you <laughs> come up with this plan, <laughs> yes. that means I get to be the pilot now, right? Well, yes, I do believe it does. Excellent. <laughs> hey, Doug. Yes. You, you can't just throw people in airlocks. Uh, Jones, Jones, take her away. Sorry, Dave, but it's almost <laughs> really convincing. Oh, I thought we were friends. All my friends are dead. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Mutiny of the yesterday. Oh. Damn it, did I just have a mutiny achievement? I want that one. What? What are you doing here? You're meant to be shot into space. It's not important, though. I well, also I resuscitate the captain. I'm going to do the race for our crew. What? Well, thought you 
stage you shot them into space. I'm sorry, the nostalgia protocol prohibits me from injuring a member of crew. Fuck! Since I was a little boy, I dreamt of outer space. The stars that twinkled bright dazzled me with light. They held you like a toy. It wasn't easy to find my feet. If I'd say the people <laughs> told me seem from seem. They, they said, said you couldn't leave. Cause your pets you often pee. <laughs> but still you chased your dream. If that boy saw you today, I wonder what he would say. <laughs> no. You're the greatest ship that's ever been. Damn right I am the captain. We're sailing through the stars, solar dancing beyond Mars to places no one's ever been. You're on the greatest ship in history. See a walker flying through the sky. Oh, with my great crew and I, there's nothing we can survive. Thank you. 
Make sure no one's in pain 